So the vice president's a wise man, so he is wisely blasting a report claiming that he's positioning himself to run for president in 2020 with a shadow campaign to cultivate allies and other Republican leaders. He's making early trips to Iowa and New Hampshire, drug-addled New Hampshire, uh, as President Trump says. The New York Times story contends that Pence himself has uh, become the conduit between major Republican donors and the administration. Uh, noting that eight Republican events since February have taken place, at least eight fundraisers for outside groups, and hosting a lot of private gatherings at his residence. The vice president responded in a four-paragraph statement nearly 24 hours after the story was posted online, which reads, in part, today's article in the New York Times is disgraceful and offensive to me, to my family, to our entire team. The allegations in this article are categorically false and represent just the latest attempt by the media to divide this administration. My entire team will continue to focus all our efforts to advance the president's agenda and see him reelected in 2020. Any suggestion otherwise is both laughable and absurd. The report also highlighted the travel of other Republicans to states with early presidential contests. Senator Tom Cotton's gone to Iowa. Governor John Kasich spent time in New Hampshire. And Senator Ben Sass has made trips to both Iowa and New Hampshire. Nicole, this is, uh, this is not fairly unprecedented. This isn't kinda unprecedented. <laughs> this is unprecedented. This doesn't happen this early and the vice president can say what the vice president wants to say. He's setting up a pretty powerful campaign operation whether he tells himself he's doing that or not. Yeah, I mean, should we just say it out loud? I mean, no one is sure that Donald Trump is going to make it, including people on the inside. And so, I mean, he doth protest it a little too much, um, in my estimation, as a communicator. Um, but I, I think, you know, whether people want to say it or not, it is a known unknown whether Donald Trump will still be standing to run for re-election. And that's not... Um, that's not hyperbole. People don't know where the Russia probe is going to end up. I think even his closest advisors don't know that he's going to have the stomach for the Klieg lights all four years for them, not just on him, but on his whole family. Um, so I think this is a reality. And I would put those names in two different categories. I think Pence and Cotton are unfailingly loyal to Donald Trump. They just don't know if he's going right. to make it. I would put Sass and Flake in another category. They openly oppose Trump and Trumpism. And we'll campaign that way. And of course, uh, Casey Hunt, we see this all the time. I mean, George H.W. Bush is loyal as he was always building up for a potential presidential run, not doing it in a way that would undermine uh, President Reagan. But he did. That's what vice presidents do when they're they're sitting vice presidents. Uh, but you've you've been around this long enough and you've been on campaigns. And if it walks like a duck, looks like a duck, quacks like a duck. It is a presidential uh, preparatory campaign. I think Nicole's right that Pence is unfailingly loyal to this president, and I think he also understands how to communicate both internally and externally. I think that statement uh, is was very Trumpian, frankly, and designed to appeal uh, to the president and get him to tweet what he tweeted about uh, the Times being the problem and not the content of the story. But I have to tell you, if you watch very closely what Mike Pence is doing, not just in these moves uh, to build kind of the relationships with donors, but also how he responds when the administration is embroiled in something and how and when they choose to push back. It is extremely sophisticated and very indicative of how they are looking out for Mike Pence's political future. It's it's remarkable. And there have been at least three occasions where they have either anonymously or on the record come out and said, look, we didn't, for example, that meeting with Don Jr., that they put out a statement that said, yeah, we weren't on the campaign at that point. Uh, not only do we not know about it, but we weren't right. on the campaign.